Okay, I feel pretty stupid. Last three videos I did had no audio. I have an external microphone and um, I didn't turn it on. But uh, I will try to figure out a way to do an avo audio overlay. I know I was trying to keep these, you know, keep it really simple just by, okay, I'm just going to do it one take, no edits, whatever, and just like try it out. But you know what? I screwed up. Um, I'll try to do a re voiceover. Might not be as good audio. Because I'll probably just be off my whatever uh, gaming headset mic, but whatever. But um, I want to keep progressing because I'm really close to getting this thing finished. Um, I I just got this um, inner portion back in where the you know the oil pump portion back in. Um, the after pressing the um, the pulley not the pulley the the shaft back in put and pressing the um, I'm pressing the seal back in. Actually, this got a lot more tough, and I think that's the reason why, because the seal was pretty grody, number one. Uh, you, I'm sorry, the seal was pretty grody, number one. Um, and this, this, um, gosh, I don't even know what this is. This kind of spring gasket type thing was kind of bent. And I, I could have actually done that trying to remove this thing, but I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe after replacing that and the way that this is, running right now it seems like it's gonna be a lot better so um, definitely trying to keep in this keep this thing as clean as possible but um, if I feel like it's gonna be a lot better than it was um, it, it runs smooth it just seems a little bit I got to put a little more force into it and I think that maybe since I didn't ha it didn't when I was when I was you actually doing this before and it didn't take any force that could have been the problem that that the seals were definitely bad or whatever so I've got this all back together. There's a the, the larger O-ring. Oh, I'll just use the diagram. I don't want to break it down again. There's the larger O-ring right here that I inserted. Um, I've got this backing plate back on there. These veins with the rotors in there as well. And um, I've got this center point point right here. This center portion um, already inserted as well. So now I'm going to put um, the gasket on and then this backing plate. Um, see here right now I think it's the right way out. maybe yeah it looks like it and I've got the gasket in there you can see it just fall out she looks like a good fit to me um, gonna have to just kind of torque these down real quick I'm gonna verify I actually got this in the right way up. I'm gonna actually have this upside down. Yeah, actually it is upside down, I think. Yes it is. That looks a lot better. You know what? Hey again, guys, learn as we go, right? Um, good. So now that is set. I just want to kind of verify that this gets set properly. Um, maybe actually you know what I'll do is when I rebolt this down, I'm going to stick this big old Phillips head through here. Um, this is at one of the bolt holes that um, connects this big old bolt to the um, block itself. So um, I'll use that as alignment kind of guide to put these two screws in uh, real quick. You know what? Missed an O-ring. Of course. Missed an O-ring. This is an O-ring right here. That I totally forgot. So, um, I'm going to take this apart again. And put that O-ring on there. I'm glad I remembered it, actually. More than anything else. But, um, yeah. I've got multiple O-rings in here that I don't want to forget. But, um, yeah. There's, there's one right here. There's one right here. The one right here. And I don't see another one. I guess there is an outer O ring. I don't know. I don't know. I'll take a look at it. Anyway, um, I'm going to redo that real quick. Um, I'm not going to film it. All right.